Hello. Today I'm going to be adding a plan view map to my cross section. Here we have a cross section that I've created for the Oliver project, and I'm going to add a plan view map to it. In order to do that, I'm going to right click on the cross sections and contours folder and select new plan view. A new window will pop up with the plan view parameters. If I go to the Scene View tab, I can change the extents for this Plan View map using the handles in the scene. In the window, I can rename my Plan View to Plan View Oliver and click OK to confirm these extents. In order to create a layout for this Plan View, I'm going to right click on Plan View Oliver in the project tree and select New Layout. This will open a new tab with my plan view extents on a layout. In order to display my plan map, I need to select which map I would like to add. Right click on the Maps folder, click Add Map, and select the georeferenced map or orthophoto I would like to display, and click OK. This will evaluate my map onto the plan layout. As with the cross-section layouts, I will need to evaluate data onto my map from the drill holes, lines, points, and structural data folders. For this map, I would like to add my drill hole colors and some GIS data. So I've already done that part. I've got this other layout, and you can see I've added some collars, roads, and rivers to this aerial photo. Now I just have to add a line for where my cross-section is actually located on this map. Once I've done that, I can make formatting edits in the Properties panel. I can edit the endpoint label text as well as change the color and the width of the line. Now that I have this handy plan view map, I can save it and return to my cross-section layout. In my cross-section layout, I will navigate to the plan view folder which is at the bottom of this list. Right click on it and choose which plan view I would like to add to my cross-section layout. When I click OK, this will produce a little map on my layout, which I can resize and move around. So I'm going to place mine right there and once I have placed my map on my section, I can make a few more aesthetic changes to my map in the Plan View tab. I'm going to change the visibility on a few objects so my map is simple on a cross-section layout. Perhaps just edit my axes a little bit and resize a few objects. What's cool about this is when I save these in my plan view layout, it will update them automatically in the plan view map that is on my cross section layout. So just going back to my cross section layout tab, I can see that my changes have been made to the plan view map there as well. Here is the finished product. Once I'm done with this, I can save my section layout and I can export my creation.